Hey, what's going on, guys? I had to just chime in real quick. Have my car full, full of uh, some supplies and some stuff. But um, look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you a quick story. When I arrived in the military, I was a 17-year-old kid coming from the South. Background was Baptist. Baptist, uh, Chris, you know, Christianity style, right? And uh, I never forget, there was a guy by the name of Hashmani. He was a guy from Pakistan. And I remember making fun of that dude about ham sandwiches and ham. And I never forget the time he went to a strip club. And it was like, oh my gosh, he was covering his eyes. And it, was just, it was just a funny thing, right? Years later, I became Muslim. Because I found out that really, I didn't know much about different cultures, different religions, different anything. And I think that's the problem that a lot of people are having, is ignorance. Ignorance is the fuel of racism. Because people have too much pride to just say they don't know something and just assume something. So people walk around with all these assumptions of people. Oh, um, you know, black people are this way. Uh, white people are this way. Uh, Mexican people are this way. They don't have any information. It's all made up. It's all from the media. Right? I would say to the end of time, traveling is the best education known to man. If you don't travel, a lot of the times you don't learn. So I think a lot of human beings need to humble themselves and say, hey, if I don't understand the race, if I don't understand people, I need to take some time out of my day for my personal growth and get to know everyone. Because what I'm saying is this hate stuff, man, is crazy. Like, you know, there's these white na nationalists, this is going on, you know, black power groups. And, you know, I said, and some people was like, well, look, dude, why are you talking about black power groups now? Well, because the thing is, you can't talk about one group and then not talk about the other. This is all together, meaning like we all need to just grow up and say, look, we were created by the same creator. I got two arms, two legs. When I wake up in the morning time, I got to go take a piss right away. And I'm a black guy. I'm sure there's a white guy that has to go take a piss right away when he wakes up. Our architect is God. So everybody's talking about these man-made problems and read this book and all this. It's all hogwash. Look, it's all man-made crap. You're not going to solve a problem by trying to prove someone wrong or whatever. And, and you know, well, see, here, here is this author that wrote about race. Look, let me tell you something. God didn't make us by accident. He didn't create different people by accident. It was planned. So one of the tests is to be able to love someone that doesn't look like you. Because you got to stretch in order to do that. But a lot of the times when you're just like, oh, I don't like white people. Or I don't like black people. Why? And you listen to their, their reason for it. And it's crazy. There are people that actually believe. And this is the most stupidest thing ever. That if one person of another race does something, that for some reason, everyone of that other race would do the same thing. I've been asked by Caucasian people, why did, why, why did that black guy do that in such and such? I don't know. Go ask him. But it's just as dumb for me to ask a Caucasian guy, hey, why did that white kid go in and, and, and shoot up the school? Didn't do it. We have different minds. We have a different fingerprint. We all don't think the same. We all don't act the same. But what we see is if we see a person do an act, we look at another person that's the same color. And with our limited thinking, we're thinking like, oh, they're just like them. It's crazy. But it's a different background, uh, different upbringing, you know, different books read, different experience. But somehow we think that they're all going to act just alike. So really, we need to just wake up, get passports, don't assume anything. Approach race and people like babies, innocent. Because you don't even know what people are thinking. 
You don't even know what people are all about. And, and, and just live your life. You know, I mean, monuments and things like that. Look, we all know that Confederate soldiers were basically fighting mostly for slavery. Black people didn't want to be slaves. Simple as that. You know, put yourself in that same situation and ask yourself, what would you want? And then you have the answer to your question. So let's just take a deep breath. You know, you got everybody so fired up. I, 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 here's something I learned in life. You cannot fight fire with fire. If somebody else does an ignorant act, a lot of people think by going to do another ignorant act that somehow, somehow is going to fix the problem. If that's the case, why are Crips and Blood still fighting? <laughs> All they have is retaliation crimes. That's what it is. So I just, I just wanted to put my little two cents in. You know, um, I'm sure there'll be somebody that chimes, chimes in below. But that's all I have to say, guys. Hope you guys have a great morning. Take care. And until next time, signing off.